finding the area of a rhombus using the Pythagorean theorem. In rhombus, PQRS below, PQ, or the distance from P to Q, is 20. Okay, so this distance right here is 20. Okay, and PR is 32. Okay, so PR, this distance all the way across here is 32. Okay, now a rhombus is basically made up of triangles. Okay, so I have these four small little triangles, or if I kind of look at the information they gave me, since they gave me this entire segment here, um, we could also look at this as two big triangles, right? I could be looking at uh, this kind of the entire bottom half triangle down here. Okay. Or like I said, we could look at the four smaller triangles, but to get the area of this, I, I need to either find the area of one of the small triangles and then multiply by four, or find the area of one of these bigger half triangles and multiply it by two for bottom half and top half, okay? Let's just see how this goes. All right, so um, let's say I'm looking at the whole bottom half here, okay? This pink triangle that I drew in. Well, the area for a triangle is one-half base times height, okay? So the base of that triangle is the green one, the 32, okay? So I know this right there, the base, that's 32. What I don't know is the height, okay? So I don't know the height yet. The height is this distance right there, the orange one, okay? So before I can solve for the area, right, of the pink triangle, the area of the pink one, the entire pink one, I need to know both this, the full green line, which I know, and the height right there, the orange one, and that one I don't know. But, okay, this is a right triangle, so I can go ahead and use Pythagorean theorem to figure out what that one is right there. So uh, Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And if I look at my little triangle here, okay, um, right here, 20 is the C, the hypotenuse, so I'm going to put 20 in right here. And then this leg, okay, kind of working on this little triangle here now, this leg right here is half of the green line. Well, if the green line is 32, then this little piece of it, right, just this much, is going to be half that or 16, okay? So I have 16 squared as one of my legs, plus b squared equals 20 squared, okay? Well, 16 squared, okay, go ahead and type that in. 16 squared gives me 256, plus b squared equals 20 squared is 400. Okay, I'm going to subtract 256 from each side. B squared is equal to, so now 400 minus 256 gives me 144. And then I need to square root each side. So square rooting is square. Those are inverse operations. They just undo each other. So that leaves me with just B is the square root of 144, which you may have memorized as 12, right? If not, uh, you can type it in. You can see the square root of 144 is 12, okay? 
So this side right here is 12, the orange. Now, like I said, I can look at just the little four little triangles, okay, and do half base times height. If I use the little triangles, 16 would be my base, 12 would be my height, and then I could multiply by four. Since I have the entire distance here, and that's kind of what I started with up here, I'm gonna just go back to that big pink triangle. So one half, my base is 32. My height, we just figured out is 12, okay? So one half of 32 times 12, right? One half of 32 times 12 gives us 192. Okay, and our units were centimeters, so the area is gonna be centimeters squared. Okay, now that's just one big pink triangle so now if I want the whole rhombus, I have to double that, okay? So two times 192 centimeters squared, okay, will give me the whole rhombus, so 384. Is the area of my entire rhombus, okay?